<clears throat> Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Today, my special guest is Anya, and we're here in uh, Germany. And what's the closest town we're to, Anya? Angermünde. It's northeast of Berlin. Okay, so we're uh, pretty close to the Poli Poland border here, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, we are very close. Yep. We always get messages that, hello, welcome in Poland, but we're still in Germany. But it's only three kilometers. Then there's the River Oder. You can wait a little bit. Okay. And we are here on the Proud Cow. Yep. The Proud so Cow Farm. So Stolz Kuh means what? Proud Cow. Proud Cow, I love and it. And Stolzenhagen, and the village is called Stolzenhagen, so it's the same start of the name. Okay. And a proud cow keeps her horns, of course. Okay. And you all know how you proud are as parents, and our cows, dairy cows, keep their calves, and that's why they are proud cows. So you're... You don't take the calf and just on um, two days old, they're no. gone. They're, yeah. they, we, the cow raises the calf. Yeah, they are born on the pasture. And when they are a good in, in a good connection, I leave them just on the pasture. I bring the cow in for milking the rest that the calf can't drink, can't suck loud, because dairy cows, cow, cows are bred for more milk. And I take what the calf leaves. That's our special yep. yeah, specialty. Well, we just got back from a tour uh, going through your cows and your actually you have a big bull herd too. Tell yeah. us about the bull herd. We also uh, keep the male calves. So the yeah, we raise them on the pasture until we are two to three years old, and then we shoot them right on the pasture. And when we have forty six female cows, we have twenty three bulls a year. So okay. we have about forty fifty bulls at the moment. They are all on pasture just with one wire. It's uh, electrified, of course. Yep. But then we are grown up on the pasture. We know the fence. We know where the water is. We are very social because we learned how to um, be moved by humans from the beginning on. Well, so we are very nice behaved, well behaved. Yeah. I, I mean, I've always heard the bad things about dairy bulls. You're dangerous. Mm -hmm. Don't get around them. Heck, we walk through yeah. the whole and 50 you, and none of me. I mean, they, I literally, they didn't come after us. They didn't look no. at. They just walked. Wait, we just ignore humans. Wait, you asked if, if the Jersey bull, where he he um st stood up because we were yeah. lying down and chewing, and you said, "Oh, that's a Jersey, isn't it? Will he not attack <laughs> us?" And I said, "No, oh. he's the same behavior like all the bulls." And like I learned in Canada, that bulls are just like cows. When you keep them in a natural environment, when they can fight a little bit with each other, we can fight the testosterone off. Yep. We can move all day, and we are all just in the middle we don't have to fight yeah and i also heard something years ago when you take a bull calf away from his mother mm -hmm. and he's not raised by his mom that yeah. can make him kind of on i think the um, the reason is when um a human is feeding the calf we will get in contact very tight and i never tame the calf as much as it's fed with a bucket and normally the cow will tell the bull calf someday okay now you move away from me you go you leave me and the human is never doing this training with yep. the calf we just still um yeah cuddle it a little bit and when the bull calf is getting older he will try okay when we cuddle the whole time maybe i'm a little bit stronger than you and then we start yes. uh, um sh 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 pushing on you and that's not okay and it's very hard for humans to train their male calves not to do is to, to be still respectful to the humans and the cow we will run after them we will use their horns or their yep. their head yep. to show them no that's no no means no and this is what humans fail to train <laughs> well that's awesome I'm, i just want to show people the scene on the front of your yeah, building here did you paint it. did you paint that on it was a from the village and the people can't walk there so here we have a little image we have to pick up we have the milk tank on the on the bottom and this is how our little um, mobile parlor looks like and we milk them directly where they are grazing and then we bring the milk up with this milk tank here and then we pump it and these are the uh, yeah the packages going uh, to to all germany and here we pump it directly to the cheese making room and there we can go now can we go look at yeah. the cheese so you're telling me you're milking these cows out on pasture? Yeah. Why not? You, you have a mobile milking station. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. So you bring the, the the mobile station out into the pasture. The cows aren't walking a mile to get milked. No. And I don't have to bring them this far. And it's not possible because it's really the pastures. Most farmers say 
We don't have the pasture close to the barn, right. but you don't have to have a barn. You, right. can just, you have to have a building maybe to process the milk. We wash all the bottles and yogurt jars and kefir and what else? Yep. What else you can put in because then we can reuse it and we don't waste right. um, plastic stuff. Yeah, the clean ones, we can cut the cheese here and the ham. And we look in You're in the meat business too. Yeah, we yep. do. Yeah, of course. When you have male calves, yep. you always uh, have beef as well. And as you can't step in here because it's the clean area. We made aluminum today. It's a cheese you can fry in the pan. It's still warm. Oh, and wow. tomorrow it will be in the in the salt, in the salty bath. Wow. And it will be yeah. Well, you just you just gave me some of that a while ago, yeah. folks. It's unbelievable her cheese. You can pasteurize and do everything with the pasteurizer. We can also use this little one when we have less milk. This is three hundred liters. This is six hundred liters. And yeah, we put in this is the yogurt. Uh, we put a, it. Um, I can step on a on a pedal, and then I hold the jar here, and it fills in the fresh cheese or the fruit yogurt that we made. No dirt is coming in. And now this cheese is not ripened, the, the frying cheese. But okay. the soft cheese and the feta and we made cut it um, yellow cheese and hard cheese before we didn't we stopped doing it because that's quite difficult to um, yeah to sell it for a good price when the people are um, yeah think it can be very cheap, it's very hard to uh, let them understand what when it's handmade, how, how huge, how, how much bigger the price is, because this, mm -hmm. these um, cheeses are, um, I can show you, and they are ripe with um, salty water, and it's cooled here, and it's more moisture in the air, and we can take this out. And on the normal um, dairy uh, operation, this is made by robots. We don't need humans anymore. That's why we make it much more cheaper. Now, what are you, what are you rubbing on there? It's just salty water. And when you rub it with salt and, and moisture it again, the bacteria can make a natural coat. Oh. So it's the natural coat. Okay. And then I don't need to wax it or plastic, put plastic on it. I just put it in paper. I'll be darned. And then it's raw. It's made of raw milk. Now, how long did those set in here? Um, with two weeks, we can sell them. Okay. And with the hard cheese, we, it was all full last year, but I stopped this business because I had to use, I had to have too many people, and it's hard to pay them all. With the prices, the, the normal market um, thinks it's achievable. Right. So I stopped this, but uh, this and this hard cheese, it ripens uh, four to five months, so okay. it's quite. Quite, many Quite labor working intensive. Hours, um, yeah. Working hours to get the price. Yeah. That is cool. We like this. This is feta. It's in a in a salty um, whey. 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 Okay. Do you know? Whey. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's such, such a mix, and we made this. With pepper, it's quite quite special. I never ate it before, but it's very delicious. I just had some. It's really yeah. good. <laughs> Take my word for it, folks. <laughs> Can we go in your other room in here where you have your your meat yes. and your yogurt and all that? That was pretty cool. Let me show people that, folks. This. How long have you been doing this now? You. You've we been... um, we are here for seven years. I just turn off the light. Okay. Maybe. Um, we started seven years ago. This was looking <laughs> very special. It's okay. Uh, it was looking, yeah, like I think the, pic the picture just broke, but um, you can see it a little bit here. the The door was just uh, oh my goodness, with the wall closed, and we yeah, it was just standing left over since 10, 15 years, my and we goodness. just started doing something again. But that was still the the old. <laughs> The old colors on here. Yes. Only sandy ground. You and started from ground zero yeah, almost. Ground zero. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, we've got some nice doors on here. That's a really good door. Yeah, we just said, oh, come, come take our packages. There you go. And this means that every farm counts. We have to continue with 
um, family farms. Yes, Not Jeder. So that farms. that means every farm counts. Yeah, every farm in German. Counts. Yep. Cool. Over the hoses yet. Yep, we're good. We refill the, um, the water containers for the parlor to, to wash the parlor. Yep. And here we have our frozen beef, which is just yep. just a storage. Oh, yeah. And we pack it uh, for every customer. They can decide what they like. And we also make beef packages. I can turn it off, it's not that loud. Okay. So now it's one one degree, so it's quite cool. Ooh, it's cold in here. Boy, it smells good. Yeah. Ah, yeah what you got you, like? you got some that's cured meat in here. Hip so. steak. That's spare ribs. Oh yeah. And we have flapstick here with Ooh, the bone. Look at that. And porterhouse steak. <laughs> oh yeah. And we have this is a typical German. I don't know the English name. It's just um, for having it in the um, um, yeah cooking. It's three hours uh, covered. You know, oh, um, um, typical German, like we cut it then and then we eat it with potatoes and, and sauce. Like marinated it? Like no, mar it's not mar Yeah, you can marinate it, but I love cooking easy. And I just put it into the... The hot water bath? Mm, sealed in water? Uh, the seal gets off and then it goes into the oven. Okay. Covered. Oh. And three hours, just pour a little bit something over what you have. You can take red wine, but you can also just take okay. uh, whey. Okay. And then, yeah, we cut it in... And pieces and we have a good meal for eight people here wow so and you got your ground beef yeah we have ground beef this is some um, some cheese that is uh, for fondue okay like, like the um, yep. swiss people do it that's for the dog okay <laughs> and we also make sausages we have oh this is ham we have ham cut in very small slices okay and wiener i don't know if we know it it's yeah, very delicious snack. You gave me some more. Yeah, we I've can got try. one in my pocket here. And, it's, and what is special? Normal um, butchers say you always have to put pig, pig in it. Yeah. Pig, uh, pig fat. Right. And um, our um, slaughterer can do pure our pasture, pasture. No beef. way. There's yeah. no there's no pork in there. Yeah. It's all beef. So it's good for the Turkish people. Wow. What do you got salami. here? This is salami. I don't know if you know salami. Yeah. Typical yeah. Italian. And it's also pure beef. Salami. And there is some um, out of the liver. That's a, a sausage. And this is with, uh, they say this is really not possible without pig. So is that, that's a liver liverwurst? Liverwurst, yeah. Oh, my darn. <laughs> I love liverwurst. And what you got the, here? The bones are also. Oh, that's the bones. Yeah, the bones. So like bone broth, you can yeah. cook that. Yeah, in. It's, it's very like in Berlin. Yep. They really buy it the bones and make bra on their own that's very yep. good very and good for you and fresh cheese okay. we still can put it into smaller smaller containers smaller jars we make a little bit of um salad and okay uh, vegetables yep as well and we change the did you turn that back on, on. <laughs> and here that's the milk away the can milk you close, can yeah you i will i have to yep. turn it off so it's not you call this the Milky Way? The Milky Way. <laughs> Can I shut this? We're not going to get locked yeah, in? We won't let we okay. So we have the cream first. We have dual purpose cows that have a lot of cream. We just watched on their um, body to see how much cream they have in their milk. And we can take them take them out. And it's still um, whole fat milk and whole fat cheese. So it's got all the goody in it. Yeah. yeah. That's good. <laughs> we make yogurt in jars okay. and it's called hay milk yogurt because we don't use silage. Now at the moment we graze, of course, right. it's three to four months. We have only hay. We don't use silage because in silage there's different bacteria for making cheese. We don't want to have this bacteria because then the, when you don't put it through a bacteria, um, there's a machine, normal farms use it because they yep. use all silage because it's easier to make uh, the winter feed out of it and we um, push all the or the bacteria all flies to the side and yeah, we just don't need it and we yep. have this, we have this cow calf sign here. Can you, can you see oh, it on I the can phone? I see it, yes. And this little, our logo with um, calves are close to the, to the cows and <laughs> it's fair, um, fair and regional. regional. Boy, you've got just about everything going on here. 
What's yeah. this one over here? We just make yogurt out of um, mm. raspberry mango. <laughs> mango yogurt. That's oh, yeah. Oh, mango yogurt. The people love it. And it's also blueberry yogurt. Oh my. Yeah. So. You gave him a variety here. <laughs> yes. That's the that's the point. When we would only have yogurt, yeah. we would just buy one jar of yogurt. But when we have yogurt and we also have fresh cheese, and we do fresh cheese with herbs and oil. And we also have chili that also looks so nice. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> and also natural. And what's also very delicious is with um, citrus and pepper. Really? <laughs> My delicious. I, I love it the most. I can bath in it. And we have one, maybe this Americans, I don't know, in other countries of the world. This is quark. It's Ex typical German. And when you have fresh cheese, the normal fresh cheese, yeah. it's just salted quark. Okay. Quark, quark in quark. German. Quark. So it's just um, some, um, oh, I, I forgot the name, what is in the in the calf's belly to stiffen the milk okay. and some bacteria. And then we let it in big sacks where the whey goes out. Mm -hmm. And we have this cheese stuff left over and we put it in a jar okay like i can show you it's like looking oh, wow. like this look at that quite stiff and you, we use it for cheesecake you know maybe cheesecake That's oh yeah the stuff okay cool boy you have got so many yeah. so many do, things going on a, here a lot to do a lot of packing we can maybe we can finish here oh no we can no let's go let's go to your shop. um your little shop in there deliver to berlin as well every week you and deliver to packing. berlin every week yeah Okay, before we quit this, I want you to make sure you give me your website. Do you yeah. have a website? It's, yeah, Stolze Kuh, I can show you. Yep, I'm going to make, well, I'm going to put that on my description so people in Berlin can come and... I will write it down here. Is this the name, is this your deal right here? That's my, no, 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 that's no, not, that's our, um, where we can, where I, we can sell. It's an online platform where the people can, so it's like this. So somebody types in... I don't know how you pronounce that. Stolzekuh.de. <laughs> okay. It's, it's German, but maybe with Google Translate, you can translate yeah. the website. Okay, I can put that on my description. I just want people that in Germany that are no, watching this. where to get it all. Or, or Poland or whatever. You're only, wait, how close are you to Poland? Yeah, three kilometers. It's huh? The border, the border, border is three kilometers away. Three kilometers from Poland. Well, yeah, because we, on one of the farms today, you told me when we looked across the river, that was Poland. Yeah, so we were on the Polish border today. Wow. Folks, you got to see her little store out here. Hi, well, maybe you can show this as well. We yes, do, um, yes. We started with mop grazing, and I couldn't handle these very... Oh, how can I get them out? I couldn't handle these very... Like this is steel. Yeah, And that's it's very heavy. You... When, I, when I carry uh, eight, I, it makes me yes. cut in the arms. Yes. And I uh, imported this from, from New Zealand. Yes. And I have some German German parts as well. I can hang this oh, over. Yeah. Oh, look at that. And can go fencing, put the posts in, <laughs> can open it here. And these are the German parts of it. Yep. And yeah, So as you walk across your paddock, you're just putting out the wire right there in one pass. Yeah. And it's not heavy, so I can... You can handle it. it. Yeah. You can handle it. And I'm, it's still fun to fence. And that, oh no, I have to go fencing. <laughs> And my back is never hurting, of course. <laughs> so this is back on here. And go to the shop. So you got a little shop here at the edge of town. We do a little farmer's market here as well. And what's the name? Of, is this the name of your... What's this? That, that means just farm farm shop. Okay, farm shop. Land. And it's open and it's with self-service. That's what the sign says. What do you mean by self-service? You're not... You don't no, have you anybody in here? Own, they just... Have to, they have all the prices. We can check what we like. Okay. And then and they, and they just leave the money here? Here, there's some um, the, 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 the meat. meat. Now. Wow. So if you're not here, they just open the door and come in. Yeah, and then we put the money in the in it here. We had to make it stronger because one time one little one here was cut open. This is from other people. I also wrote a book for the Germans. Oh. Maybe somebody wants to translate it. It's, it is in English. Um, how I traveled the world as a cowgirl and started to be an organic farmer without having land and money at the beginning. That <laughs> kind of sounds like my first book. No, yeah, yeah, I no, didn't know, I have to yeah, read it. No risk ranching. 
actually. Yeah. Yeah, we have some eggs from 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 friends. I had chickens before, okay. but now I can't. Yeah, I had to stop some part. <laughs> and I don't think you're gonna carry your scale off here. No, you but it's, yeah, it was a scale outside before. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and it, well, and, it, and it works quite well, and I'm just a trust, trusty, trustworthy person, and yeah, nobody has to stand here. And then it's like um, in, in Berlin you have a Späti, so like a, a late night shop, so you can get there and get your Good beer boy. always, and here you can always get the, the Well, <laughs> thank, thank you for giving us this tour today. Um, we, we spent the whole day out on her farm, her and her husband. Your husband's name is Jan Janusz. Janusz. Yeah, Janusz. Janusz. This is the, the little cheese then. Oh yeah, look at that. Salad. The soft cheese. Yeah. And that's what you just fed us a while yeah. ago. Yeah. Folks, it's really good stuff. They got a great product. Uh, you're all about uh, local small farms, keeping the communities alive, and you're keeping your... And have, have, have the workers here, have yep. the work here, not yep. going to town somewhere. Yeah. And you have a really... Um, satisfying job because you know what you do, you see what you do, you can show your children, yeah. and we will get a connection to the land. Yeah, I think it's very well, important. We were, we were out in your cow herd, and the, and the milk cows are laying around chewing their cud. They got up, they go get a bite of grass. The cows are not in a feedlot. Yeah. They're out there where nature, where they belong, you know. And so you've got a great job. I know you. And it's just grass fed milk. That's very seldom in Germany. Normally, also the grass fed cows, yep. they are in the barn eating silage. Yes. And the pasture cows, when it's called pasture cows, they have to be on the pasture for four hours, but the, it's 24 hours, and hours are outside 24 hours. No grain. Only what they find. No grain. Yeah. So, folks, if you want the true goodness to put into your body, the best milk <laughs> and the best cheese, come and see her. And I'm going to put the description on our website. So if you're within driving distance, do you, and you do mail? Do you, do you don't ship? Yeah, I do mail in Germany. Okay, yeah. in Germany. Okay. Well, thank you again, Anna, for everything. And uh, we've enjoyed our day with you. And thanks. <laughs> thanks for inviting Jan and I today. Thank you for your visit. All right. We will meet again. I yeah. will visit you. Yes, yeah. come to America anytime. Folks, this is Greg Judy signing off. And on the way out, everyone hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And we'll see you all down the road.